The Flanders Automobile Company was a short-lived U.S. American automobile manufacturer which operated in Detroit, Michigan, from 1910 to 1913. It was the brainchild of Walter E. Flanders (1871–1923), who formally held a position as general factory manager at the Ford Motor Company's Piquet Avenue plant. There, he co-invented the ingenious manufacturing methods which made the Model T Ford so famous. In 1908, Flanders left the Ford Motor Company and co-founded, together with Bernard F. Everett and William Metzger, the EMF Automobile Company in Detroit. This car, based on Flanders' experience with the Model T Ford was the first mass-produced Flanders car. At the beginning, there were two offerings, Model 30 and Model 20. The 30, although prone to many faults, became a huge success but failed to outsell the Model T Ford. Although second in its best year, it was beaten by the Model T with a wide margin. In this situation, Flanders convinced the Studebaker brothers, who held substantial stock in EMF and were its sole distributor in the USA, to buy the defunct factory of the Deluxe Motor Company in Detroit, and to build there a new Challenger to Ford. So, EMF dropped the 20, concentrating on their Model 30. The new Flanders, appropriately named Model 20, was patterned after this smaller EMF. Topic: <inaudible> Flanders Model 20. This little car had a four-cylinder engine with 20 horsepower, 15 kilowatts, a 100-inch (2,500 millimeters) wheelbase, and was focused on a price of $750 in 1909, then lower than Ford's T. But, as Ford was able to cut its price regularly, the Flanders remained more expensive than the Model T in their best year, 1911. EMF and Flanders together ranked second in the industry. In its first year, only two body styles were offered a runabout for two passengers priced at $750, and a four passenger touring car for $790. More body styles became available in 1911. Prices were lower now, as they were over at Ford's, the Model 20. Runabout now cost $700, and the Suburban that replaced the Touring was set at $725. This was also the price for a new three passenger roadster and the first closed car in the range, a coupe for three passengers, cost $925. In its last year, the Model 20 added a Touring car. Like the Suburban, it cost $800. The least expensive Flanders was the Roadster for $750, followed by the Runabout at $775. The Coupé was also slightly more expensive at $1,000. The wheelbase was increased to 102 inches in 1912. Flanders cars were also built in Canada by the EMF Company of Canada Limited in Walkerville, Ontario. In 1912, However, Studebaker made the next logical step and took over EMF and Flanders completely, selling both now as Studebakers. A total of 31,514 cars were built in its three-year existence. <laughs> <laughs> Flanders Model. 56 Earlier EMF partners Bernard F. Everett and William Metzger had also developed a new car. When they left EMF in 1909, they built a car very similar to the Model 30 Everett and added, with the Model 648, a much bigger car with a starter device that worked with pressured air. There were two body styles, a three-passenger roadster at $2,200 and a touring car for seven passengers at $2,250. When Flanders rejoined his old companions, a reorganization took place during which the company's name changed from Metzger Company to Everett Motor Company and, in late 1912, finally became the Flanders Motor Company. Only the big six-cylinder car appeared under the Flanders label. This model, 56, was in general the Everett 648 with the addition of electric lighting and starting. Only a handful of these 130 wheelbase cars might have built as, shortly after introduction, Walter Flanders was asked by Benjamin Briscoe to help saving the United States Motors Company which was in severe trouble. Flanders agreed. In the end, of the about 12 makes involved, including his own Flanders, he closed all but one, the Maxwell, ancestor of the later Chrysler Corporation. <laughs> 